Yo, yo, what's up, everyone? It's me, Matt from Diazable, coming at you with another album review. And this one's a heavy duty one. And I think a lot of you from the th seeing the thumbnail already know what's up. We're checking out Better Lovers with the album uh, God Has Made God Made Me an Animal, their new EP. And a little background, if you don't know, but you probably do know, but if you don't know, uh, Better Lovers is a, they call it a super group, but it's just a group of um, uh, guys who played in some really good bands before. Uh, we have members from Every Time I Die, Dillinger Escape Plan, Fit for an Apatosi, and all coming together and uh, making a, um, a new band called Better Lovers. They dropped their first song, which I reviewed a couple months ago, about four months ago, called 30, uh, 30 on, 13 on 30, 13 under 30, the song title, and that song's on here as well, but they have a full four, four track EP, which I think everyone is losing their goddamn minds over, but I'm not gonna lie. Mmm. Mmm, yeah, it's, um, yeah. Uh, without, with that being said, let's get into this. Sacrificial Participant is the first song. Uh, it has some interesting like guitar scaling to start the song off with some screechy devilish vocals from Greg. Um, then he got like, like some clean streamlined bass. And then the chorus is kind of a clean chorus after all the screams and everything with some nice, uh, I want to say some guitar licks and everything. Very nice. And uh, there's a lot of Every Time I Die influence in here. Like, like, but like, it's like, as best way I can describe it, like it's lean and neat. Like it's stripped down every time I down sound. Like it's not as a uh, bogged down. It's not as heavy. It just sounds so uh, fit and fast and tight. And then they they drop into like an echoey, like spacey, like angelic, like sound space. Which then Greg comes in with these amazing vocals that I was not expecting. It's it's an amazing opening song. It's sonically beautiful in so many different ways. And so like, I have to play that clip of me where I just, blew, where my mind was blown. such a really good like part of that song Ooh. hey guys have you checked out any of the merch from uh diazable that we have on our online store we have some of these designs up some cool gym looking gear fan favorite baby noodle be a fucking devil yeah some of my most hated merch ever but i love hate breed yay sticker packs too who doesn't like baby noodle eating pizza? Yeah. Keychains. Yeah. And of course, we have koozies. Yeah. Who doesn't like a good koozie? So check out our merch store, diazable.com, and support your local business. And a friend who's not trying to work a nine to five anymore. I'm trying to do something with my life. Then we have the song 30 under 13, which everyone knows by now. Uh, he comes like it comes in with some like scary, scary heavy riffs and some tight, scary screams uh, vocals from Greg. Like he's like, yeah, like he's on it. He's very on point with his vocal range. Uh, bass is very uh, prominent. You can hear it nice, uh, groovy and heavy song throughout the whole song. Um, it's in your face the whole time. It's never stale. Um, like the, and he loose back into the guitars, but not in like a boring way. They're very, very intense and well written riffs. Um, then there's like a tempo change in the middle of the song that gives like some uh, time for the drums to breathe a little and play. And then it brings it back in with some heavy guitar riffs. Uh, then a nice like slow, like swelling before the breakdown and everything. And it's just a nasty, chaotic breakdown. Oof. Then we have the song Become Too Small. Tight and fast riffs with tighter vocals here. A uh, short burst of chaos, and then they flow. It flows into like a nice bass solo. Uh, it's heavy, and it's like a low, like tuning sounding song. Uh, the breakdown makes it feel like I travel back to the year 2020, 20, 2002, and like it's just like classic, like fine wine of like 
new like new era like metalcore from back in that day and everything and the breakdown is pretty sick on this song too last we have the title track of the album god may be an animal and in that uh i would say the big thing i noticed was uh jordan's like southern style guitar riffs very very prominent very very every time i die those who are missing every time i die r.i.p are going to be very very happy with this little ep drums are very very tight here bass is smooth and layered very well in the in the song i think and they switch up to a slower tempo with some sonically like quiet guitars that sound really nice and they really are doing some different things with this band it shows and i think the biggest thing on this album is the versatility and the guitar work like I think Jordan's like putting out some of his best work with this uh with this little album and here's a little bit of a uh, uh God made me an animal. God made me an animal. And that is my short review of this album from uh, Better Lovers, God Made Me an Animal. And I have to just to say, like, I think everyone in their mind, everyone in their mind, everyone in their mom these days and everything is going to say that this album for this year might be like a contender. Oh, my eyes look weird. Uh, will be a contender for album of the year or EP of the year because it comes in strong and heavy and brings in so many different sounds lots of versatility in terms of vocal performance guitar uh guitar riffing and style bass and everything percussions everything sound really really tight here and just really mesmerizing production i think because will putney's on it producing everything and everyone's like he does amazing work with whatever he does not to like preach or put him on a pedestal but he's put like his stamp of like him and jordan's stamp is on this and ever all the members their their signatures are all over this thoroughly and thickly and it just shines like it doesn't feel like a super group it just sounds like a really good band with some talented musicians like simple as that there's barely anything i can say negative the only thing i can say bad about it probably is it's too short i think people would want more but this is all we can get so this is closest to almost being a perfect album for me for this year so far this is possibly one of the best albums at least this half of the year so far for me I can't even say it's the best album because it is only an EP, but man, it is very good to listen to, very outstanding. And with that being said, I would give it a nice 9.5 out of 10. Mm, wholeheartedly. If by the end of the year, if nothing is better, this might be, I definitely think it's going to be a top contender for me for one of the albums of the year so far. So uh, good job, guys, to guys and better lovers. Check the links down below, guys. Thanks for coming by. And I will see you later, homies.